Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is probably not the most positive message out there. I just actually want to discuss something with you guys. You've probably noticed that a lot of my videos on this channel I've, I've done on repairing something called an Alter G treadmill, which actually isn't that complex of a device. It's a uh, weight scale it's, or a weighing bed treadmill, which supports the user on um, a pillow of air which lifts them up. So it simulates uh, releasing body weight from the load on the legs. Well, it, it's an interesting design and everything, but guys, if you haven't noticed, why are they failing so often? I have so many that failed. Now, I'm dealing currently with an issue, and, and that's the issue that raised this video right here, inspired this video. So I've got a device and it blew out a motor control board last time, a Landis motor control board. And if I remember right, it cost the medical facility $6,000 or roundabout. And wouldn't you know it, I got a call just the other day. It's not working again. It's only been like five months later and it's not covered under warranty. Um, and I did not change out the motor control board because they will not sell it to me. They won't sell it to me. Nope. This is another one of those right to repair type videos. They say I'm not trained, even though it's, it's a treadmill and yeah, it's got a, a weight scale on the bed, but it's really not that complex. Um, so yeah, they're not going to sell me this board either. It's a $1,400 board, gave me the runaround and they're not going to sell it to me because I'm not properly trained. Well, that's interesting because I don't feel like spending another $6,000 five months later. It's funny how that works, isn't it? So Alter G is the name of the company. And I'm just here to let you guys know that I've had an amazing amount of failures on these devices and they seem to be failing for little to no reason at all. It's really odd. And I've never seen anything in my 20 year biomed career where a device just up and fails for little to no reason. But here we are. So guys, if you are thinking about getting a uh, patient support treadmill for physical therapy, maybe you might want to migrate away from Alter G. See, uh, my nearest Alter G vendor, I believe, is up in Dallas. I'm in Houston. So they are hammering us with close to $1,000 in travel. Every single call that, that happens with these devices and it just, it just is what it is. I don't feel like spending $1,000 every single little call. And we have, Houston is the fourth largest city in the United States, but we have no local vendor. It's funny and sad at the same time. So guys, um, if you're thinking about uh, Alter G, you might want to stay away from them. They're just prone to failures. And you know, the last one, it popped the main fuses because it had a shorted uh, flyback diode and the flyback diode is a semiconductor and they usually fail in a short. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's almost exactly what I believe has happened this time. It's hard to say. I'm not going to tear it apart because I have no belt, which is um, the electricity comes from AC in 220 volt and it gets rectified down to DC and then it gets pulsed out with an IGBT to the, the DC motor. Well, then the flyback diode pops and you know it shorts it out and you know pops the main fuse and right now i also don't have incline well it just so happens that the ac coming into that board controls both of those so i'm not even going to take it apart any further i'm going to let them figure it out um but here's the thing they gave me the run around they won't sell me the board and it's it's not a repair friendly company so guys if i was you I would consider these words that I have not had treadmills fail as often as those. And it's not because of heavy use. They're just, one day they're just kind of failing. So it is what it is, guys. Take my words of wisdom. I've never seen medical devices fail quite like this quite so often for little to no reason. Thanks for watching.